Israel has taken a significant step that directly impacts the lives of millions in Gaza. The Israeli parliament recently passed two laws aimed at curtailing the operations of the United Nations Relief and Works Agency for Palestine refugees in the Near East, or UNRWA. One law brands UNRWA as a terrorist entity and the other severs all ties between Israel and the agency. This move marks a new stage in a long-standing campaign against UNRWA by some Israeli lawmakers. Proponents argue that UNRWA perpetuates the Palestinian refugee crisis. They accuse the agency of providing a haven for Hamas militants. Critics warn these laws will have a devastating impact on the Palestinian population in Gaza. The international community fears a looming humanitarian crisis if UNRWR's operations are restricted. The international community is sounding the alarm. They fear a potential humanitarian catastrophe in Gaza due to Israel's new laws targeting UNRWA. Gaza, with a population exceeding 2 million, is already in a dire humanitarian situation. Years of conflict and a crippling blockade have taken a heavy toll. UNRWA plays a critical role in providing essential services to Palestinians in Gaza. These services include education, healthcare, and food assistance. For millions, the agency's operations are a lifeline. They depend on UNRWA's support for survival. The new legislation threatens to cut off these vital services. Without them, vulnerable populations will be left without access to basic necessities. International aid groups are deeply worried. They predict a further deterioration of the humanitarian situation in Gaza. They argue that the legislation will exacerbate already dire challenges. Poverty, unemployment and food insecurity are all expected to worsen. The situation is dire and the international community is urging Israel to reconsider. The potential for widespread suffering is immense. The world is watching, hoping for a resolution that prioritizes the well-being of Gaza's vulnerable population. UNARDUA was established in 1949 to aid Palestinian refugees displaced by the 1948 Arab-Israeli War. The agency operates in the West Bank, Gaza Strip, Jordan, Lebanon and Syria. In Gaza, UNRWA's role is crucial. It serves as a lifeline for many Palestinians, providing education to over 280,000 students healthcare to hundreds of thousands, and food assistance to over a million people. UNRWA's impact extends beyond essential services. It engages in infrastructure development and emergency relief, providing vital social services. For millions in Gaza, UNRWA is a lifeline. Israel has long been a vocal critic of UNRWA. They accuse the agency of perpetuating the Palestinian refugee issue and hindering the path to peace. The Israeli government argues that UNRWA's unique mandate is problematic. This mandate grants refugee status to descendants of Palestinians displaced in 1948. Israel contends that this creates an unrealistic expectation of a right of return for millions of Palestinians. Furthermore, Israel accuses UNRWA of harboring an anti-Israel bias and inciting violence. The Israeli government claims that UNRWA schools are used to promote anti-Israel sentiment. They also allege that the agency employs individuals affiliated with Hamas, the militant group controlling Gaza. Israel's new laws targeting UNRWA are seen by some as an attempt to dismantle the agency. The Israeli government has called for UNRWA's responsibilities to be transferred. They suggest that other international organizations or the Palestinian Authority should take over. The situation is complex, with deeply held beliefs and perspectives on both sides. The international community is urging dialogue and a peaceful resolution. However, the path forward remains uncertain. The new laws targeting UNRWR cast a long shadow over Gaza's population. The agency provides vital services to a majority of the people there. 
Restrictions on UNRWA's operations could severely disrupt the delivery of essential aid. This includes food, water, healthcare, and education. The potential consequences of these disruptions are dire. The most vulnerable segments of Gaza's population are particularly at risk. Children, the elderly, and those with disabilities face the most severe consequences. The legislation could exacerbate existing humanitarian challenges, pushing more people into poverty and food insecurity. Moreover, the laws could have a chilling effect on other international organizations operating in Gaza. These organizations might hesitate to provide aid for fear of being targeted by Israeli authorities. This would further isolate Gaza and deepen the humanitarian crisis. The international community is increasingly concerned about the human cost of these restrictions. They are calling for urgent action to prevent a full-blown humanitarian disaster in Gaza. The situation demands immediate attention to alleviate the suffering of innocent civilians caught in the crossfire. The international community has responded with widespread condemnation of Israel's new laws targeting UNRWA. Numerous countries and organizations have voiced deep concern about the potential humanitarian consequences. The United Nations has called on Israel to reverse the legislation. They warn that it could have a devastating impact on the Palestinian population in Gaza. The European Union, a major donor to UNRWA, has also criticized the laws. They argue that the legislation undermines the agency's ability to provide essential services to Palestinian refugees. Human rights organizations have condemned the legislation as a violation of international law. They view it as an attempt to punish Palestinian refugees for their displacement. These organizations are calling on the international community to exert pressure on Israel. They demand the repeal of the laws and the protection of Palestinian civilians in Gaza. The global chorus of condemnation is growing louder. The international community is urging Israel to reconsider its actions. The message is clear, the world is watching, and the plight of the Palestinian people cannot be ignored. The timing of Israel's new laws targeting UNRWA has raised significant concerns. The legislation comes at a time of heightened tensions and escalating violence in the region. It coincides with ongoing Israeli airstrikes on Gaza, resulting in a rising death toll among Palestinians. Critics argue that the legislation is a calculated diversion tactic. They believe